Uh, it's funny, we, we said, we, did he silence the doubters? And one of those doubters is his brother. It's not, we're not talking about Twitter <laughs> trolls. It's his own brother <laughs> and his trainer. But and he's right to be skeptical at 147. Thoughts on Manny Pacquiao. Will we see that fight? I would love to see that fight because Pacquiao, we know, has the speed of a hand and, and foot, but uh, timing beats speed. And uh, that man right there, he's the epitome of a beautifully timed boxer. He knows how to stop that, and he has enough power at welterweight. And, and also, Manny Pacquiao, you know, he's, he, he comes up from smaller weight divisions, too. So right. this is two fighters that are multi-division champions coming up with power, speed, timing, experience, and they bring the crowd behind him. Does that fit into Pacquiao's schedule besides, I don't know, becoming president of the Philippines, or what's going to happen there? Yeah. Manny Pacquiao's got a lot on his plate outside of boxing, but he, he's made it clear he wants to continue to box, and he wants to fight sometime in the summertime. Now, Eddie Hearn says that Pacquiao's contract with the PBC is over. He says he's getting that information from Pacquiao's manager. If that's the case and Pacquiao's a free agent, Eddie Hearn intends to do everything possible to make Pacquiao versus Mikey Garcia this summer most likely in Saudi Arabia. So that's where that fight would most likely take place if those two guys are able to agree to terms. But I do like that fight for both of them. Mikey is not some big powerful welterweight that might really hurt Pacquiao in defeat. And the same thing with Sergio, to your point, Pacquiao is vulnerable to fighters that can time him. His most disappointing loss came to Juan Manuel Marquez when Marquez timed him and knocked him out cold with that one punch. That's exactly how I could see Mikey beating a Manny Pacquiao. So I think that fight makes sense on every possible level. Sergio, you could be going back to Saudi Arabia. You hear that? Can you deal with jet lag again? <laughs> That'll be the topic there. Can Sergio deal with jet lag? Uh, final thoughts on this. Did he take care of business in, in, in a satisfying way, coming back from that loss and taking on a tough fighter and beating him? I believe after the layoff and, and him wanting to uh, use this as a measuring stick against a fighter who's never been knocked out in Jesse Vargas, the jury's still out whether he can carry uh, the 147 pound uh, body, but uh, I mean, it was impressive what he did. And he still showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world, pound for pound best fighters in the world. And one, one loss versus Errol Spence shouldn't relegate him out of that position. So no, I think Mikey Garcia, that was a solid win against a very solid opponent. And a very impressive the way he showed his patience in that fight where you and I even started to say, hey, a round slipping away, is the night slipping away? Uh, no, it wasn't. He had the answer, Chris. Yeah, look, and he worked his way on the inside, and he was able to create that kind of disc that he needed to throw those big shots. Look, Mikey has a lot of options. I mean, if he fights Pacquiao this summer, he can follow that up by fighting the winner of Regis Progre, Maurice Hooker, maybe down at 140 pounds, and then go into 2021, potentially as a candidate to fight the winner of Josh Taylor versus Jose Ramirez. So there are a lot of big fights and a lot of big money in Mikey Garcia's future.